before I forget, you know, like, cause you touched on how like Kyoto went over to spy on, on, uh, on Tokyo and they were printing, uh, pretending to do laundry and, and all, you know, that, that, that's such a funny thing because I want to tell you this little story about how, um, uh, this is supposedly very common practice with the Japanese. Okay. So there was the, uh, a couple of years ago, I forgot, like prior to lockdown, I don't know, 2008, 18, sorry, 2000. Yeah. Probably 2018 or something. We had the, uh, uh, Montreal Grand Prix for, for judo and, uh, Teddy, uh, Teddy Riner, he came over to compete. Yeah. yeah. And so me and my coach and some other guys, you know, from the club, like we go watch it, we buy our tickets and we're, we're, we're sitting up there in the stands, you know, like pretty high up and we're watching it. And then at one point we, we all look back and we're like, Hey, we look, we, we look back up there and then guess, guess what we see. We see like these, uh, these Japanese guys, right. With a tripod and cameras and, and they're, they're, they're hiding themselves. Like they, they're wearing hoodies and, 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 uh, you know, like they have their hoodies on and they yeah. kind of cover, they try to cover the, 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 the tripod a little bit. So you can't see them, but what they're doing. And then I say, Hey, what the hell are these guys doing? And my coach is like, yeah, yeah. It's the Japanese man. They do that all the time. Cause wherever Teddy, uh, Teddy Reiner, uh, am I saying that right? Teddy, cause in French, I said it, I Rene. say Teddy Rene. Teddy, uh, Teddy Rene, Rene. Okay. So wherever he goes, the Japanese always send a team of spies to record, to record the fights. You know, and, and they sit, they always sit in the stands and they record. It worked. It worked. <laughs> I mean, Kageura was eventually able to beat him. Yeah. 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 So it's, it's, it's yes. in it's, his hometown. Mm, yeah. Yeah. That was the last. Um, yeah. I remember because, and, and that broke his winning streak because he was winning. I think he was out 100 year winning more. streak. 10 year winning streak. 10 years and 154 fights. Yeah. I remember reading that. But that's not the longest streak. It's actually Yamashita of 200 something. Mm. In a, a far shorter time, actually. Yeah, that's insane. So, so, so when you when you you mentioned like how Kyoto sent their spies to uh, to uh, you know to Tokyo, uh, I think they're really into spying, man. Like you know, ninja ninja stuff, right? <laughs> and, and and covering stuff because um, I I did a video. A while back, it's uh, about uh, retrieved and uh, translated samurai scrolls. It was from the Takeuchi, Takeuchi or Takenouchi. It, it was a courier, basically. Um, and a lot of it talks about, it didn't show any technique because if somebody found them, like they're, they're going to know their secret, basically. It was talking about, uh, don't talk badly about other schools. I found that very respectable and honorable. I, I was very amazed. And two, um don't show everything you know for uh, for you know self-defense or also to for the integrity of the school um because they had self-defense it wasn't a war because during the edo period it was very peaceful so it was either you know gangs fighting each other or a competition of jujitsu schools so for self-defense and the competitions they kept everything secret and um 1920s again let's go back to 1920s 100 years after that scroll maybe um i believe that scroll was written somewhere in the 1840s i forget i there's just mm -hmm. so many informations that i tend to forget some details um it was the 1920s and kanimitsu the same guy that invented the knee bar invented the triangle choke so it was 1921 1922 um and it's because it appeared in Oda's book. Oda was his rival, actually. He invented those two techniques to beat Oda, and it appeared in Oda's book. So they saw it, they, and then they started to document it. So it wasn't him that documented it. So it was, and he was from the Takeuchi Ryu school, the same school that had those principles that wasn't documenting techniques, keeping secret. But the guy that documented it was actually his rival. So there was the printing press, there was, uh, you know, technology obviously beat this type of uh, secrecy. So that's why a lot of people tend to confuse that it was Oda that invented the triangle, when in fact it was Kanemitsu and his uh, student uh, Kanamaru mm -hmm. um, that actually came up with it. So you can still see that mentality 
uh, still in, uh, going into even after they became judokas and left their old jujitsu school. Okay. Okay. Intriguing. But you mean the mentality of um, of keeping things secret or right? Yeah. Yeah. Whether it's you know spying like you said or keeping uh, having your secrecy or having your uh, you know tricks up your sleeves for your students in competition. I, I do believe that mentality is still very much alive. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, um, tell you tell you another funny story. Like uh, at the club where I train, um, <clears throat> you know, there's a board. <clears throat> there's a board for uh, the techniques that we have to practice, that we have to master. You know, like there's certain techniques for uh, you know uh, tachiwaza and then niwaza, and then this is how this is the sequence. This is what you have to master. This is like the core elements, the core techniques that are going to help you become a better competitor. And um, on, on, the, on that board, and uh, it's a little bit all over the gym, and on that board, and, and it, it's written, do not take a picture of this. <laughs> you know, and, uh, and my coach told me, don't take a picture of that. You know, because we, you know, sometimes when, um, you know, we're, we're there, we're students, we know we're filming, we're filming our, our, our randories, we're taking pictures and all that. He said, you can do whatever you want, but don't, don't take a picture of that. Don't post it because that's like, because we're, we're a competitive club. So we want to be, we want to keep our, um, you know, system and our, our, our methods for ourselves because we're competing. So I think that when, when you're competing, it makes sense to not uh, divulge everything that you're doing. You know? Strategy is about hmm? like everything you do. Like, is, I mean, that's what strategy is. You know, I have something that you, you're not going to see coming. And when you see it coming, it's already too late. I mean, that's what a strategy is, but I'm talking about having like their own techniques, uh, their own teachings. Uh, for example, there's a lot of things in the Kodokan, you know, um, if you see, like go on YouTube, see a tour video or something, there's a lot of stuff that they couldn't film because it says no filming or, or you see some randori during the, like uh, on the upper, uh, root, like not the rooftop, the, um, the upper level of the Kodokan like where they do the randori with the orange and the green uh, mats. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but that's basically it. So there's like, and the museum, for example, the history museum, the archives, no filming. Yeah, yeah, I was in, I was in that museum because I passed by the Kodokan once um, a couple of years back uh, when I was there with my wife in Japan. And when I went into the museum, like you can't, you can't take any pictures or you can't film. So yeah, I understand, you know. Even so. Mm -hmm. I mean, if, if it's if it's a business like a school, like hey, come to our school, like you you'd want everyone to post and show pictures of what you have, so it's like indirect marketing. But they don't do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you mean like the, the Kodokans? They don't uh, at Kodokan they don't do that. They don't let people film and and uh, promote. It's it's for for I, I would I, I don't want to put on my tinfoil hand, but like they obviously have something that doesn't like it doesn't want to be shared. Like even if you see it. You're not going to remember all of it. Or if you remember something of it I and mean, you go and tell, it's not going to be 100%. You know, like the, the whole thing, like now with media and everything, it's very easy for something to get out. So just say no filming. You know, sometimes we remember something and then we, we're very sure of it. But then when we come back to see it, it's very different because they say, I don't know if it's very true, but when you remember something, you're actually remembering the last time you remembered it, something like that yeah but that's how your mind functions so i would like is there something that they don't want everyone to know i probably yeah well i think it's it's uh you know like techniques are techniques right all the techniques are out there we all know them i think it comes down to strategy and setup and tactics that that's what they want to keep for themselves and of course if you're a uh, high level i'm sure every team is doing that so yeah 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 